Hello and welcome back to Game Night on Tharic Play Divinity Original Sin 2. Hi, buddy. Hello. So I've been trying to figure out if I want to screw up the intro as well sometimes. It's not happening, <laughs> but I decided against it. Ah, oh, thanks. I just can't let you live that down. I just, it, the moment we counted down, I, I realized, oh, maybe I should do something about that. Yeah, I mean, it's becoming kind of my thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we'll see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, let me just quickly, because I got a comment on my blood infusion, the uh, basic blood infusion that I made the mod here. Yes, uh, because that, you're a cheater. Yeah, that you can make a source blood infusion. Let me just try it, or maybe it is actually the skill, but it actually does not seem to work. So this was the combination, he said, summoning two and necromancer uh, two, it says, but... Maybe I need two source books, but that would be weird no. because it's not... I mean, this is the normal combination for any of the others. Acid, Cursed Electric, Ice, and Necrofire. One... So you're trying to go with the Bloodsucker and Door to Eternity? Yeah. I think you might need level two books, not level three and one, but I'm not sure. That would just... It doesn't... In the wiki, at least, it doesn't say anything. But let me see. I have a Necromancer 2 book as well. So let me try yeah. that. I mean, it could be. could be. I'm wrong. But, I mean... I'm not sure if the source skill, if there's a limitation, if the source skill is too powerful, basically. No, it just says... It, says it just needs to be any source book. Let me try this. Nope. Invalid combination. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure... Okay. In the um, alpha, when we played that, the blood infusion was there at release of the summoner. But they removed it. it. They simply removed blood infusion from the game. And this basically shows that... Uh, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, he, I, I, I wasn't thinking. You can only combine elemental books with other books. So you, it's, it, you always have one of either Pyrokinetic, Aerotherge, um Geomancer or um, Hydrosophist in there, so this combination yes. won't work. But someone told me on my mod that this was a combination, and why did I make a mod for it? There, oh, you, there you have why I made a mod for it. It's not yeah, in the game. Yeah. Okay. So if I, I mean, if we, we can go through the list, because I, I know three of the books, because I made them in my Couch Club playthrough, yeah. which is the Necrofire Infusion, which is Pyrokinetic Summoning, Oh, and I know, I know the, all of those. Yeah, the so, blessed one. yeah, that was the blood infusion I was confused about. Oh, hello, yeah, yeah. Crocky. Yeah, so we we uh, uh, made the portal disappear last time. That um, that's right. The the water. So we got a confused in... crocodile here. Ooh. Where the water go? <clears throat> Why does my head hurt so much? Awesome. <laughs> I offer to rub the crocodile's belly. It'll go right to sleep and feel better in no time. The crocodile glowers at you blearily. That only works with alligators. <laughs> my, my mistake. Now leave Sorry. Leave me alone. Ugh. Yeah, it's confused. Poor thing. Okay, I can't do anything else nah. with this. So, this is apparently an orc temple. I assume we're gonna go in. Yeah. Uh you say that and jump in. I mean, you were already on the way to the... No, it's just uh, standing at the entrance. Wow, this obviously. is cool. Yeah, I have no frames right now. Once again, I'm not sure why this is going on still. Every time the game saves now, the further we get into the game, the bigger this breaks for me. I'm not sure. Maybe all the background information is just too much in some area. I don't know. It might I be. be good with my PC. Yeah, I think so. We have the same frames with if we take off uh, V-Sync. Yeah. So, I think you are. Sometimes PCs are just, you know, weird. They yeah, act I, I don't know. There's something there that's own. causing this. Maybe it's the network thing and all oh, that stuff. I don't know. Time. So, I got a book here. Ooh, nice. Might be... Let's hear it. Okay, apparently it has nothing story-wise, but let's still go through it. So, this book contains an old fable of Rogier, the god of orcs. 
And when Volgir stood against the enemies of the orcs, fit of body and mind, he had but one aim in mind, to crush them into darkness. Yet that was not to be the way of it, for Volgir became enlightened that very night. He received the vision bathed in light, in which he saw that leading his enemies to the light of truth would turn them from foe to friend, strengthening him strengthening his forces and gladdening the hearts of his people and lo did Vrogia wake and follow the path of light and from okay. then on light did shine on Vrogia and all his sons it looks and daughters like this so gave the black ring a bloody nose yeah okay cool more of a text of how he became to be yeah divine. but it it has a meaning because here if you click this uh, what's it called carving here oh right you're jumping Oh, that carving, I see. Yeah, I just saw this this little corpse. Oh, there's a key. Oh, uh, nice. Key. Uh, uh, might unlock stuff. A base. There's a base as well. Nice. Yes, it's empty. Man, the graphics. Just gonna jump over there with Ifan real quick because he does have more perception. So if there's something hidden here, he might ah. see it. Good plan, sir. Good plan. Yes, thank you very much. So what about that uh, thing over there? Yeah, if we click on it, if I understand this correctly, it reads walk safely in Rogier's path, and his path was in the light. So, and it seems like this, it seems like the darkness here, we do not want to step in. So we need to jump from light to light to get past. Oh, is so you're what, taking this very literal. I'm taking it very, very, very and if no you look at, <laughs> oh, that is cool. So I, I know it because I'm a scholar. That might be it, yeah. And and it's very fitting for me because I'm so clever. <laughs> uh, but you can also see there's like the dead black ring guys here, and they are all in the darkness parts yeah. of the map. So let me let me try with the Losa here. Okay. Okay. While you do that, I'm gonna. Be productive. Yeah. <laughs> Start looting. <laughs> teleporting corpses. Oh, she can't jump that far. With the wings. Well, can she? Yeah, that should be fine. Look out. I see a trap nearby. Ooh. Oh, That's... so maybe just everything in darkness is trapped? Possibly. Yeah, it could be. Well. Uh, let me see if I can jump here. Yes, I can. Careful. Oh! Yeah, so also there's... Clear. It's because there's traps all over the place. Careful. I've spotted a trap. Also Holy s... Ow. Bokes. I got hit there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, nice. Good plan. Yeah. You might wanna... I'm just gonna pull the others out there as well, yeah. just in case. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure plates here. That might be just it. If you yeah. hit a pressure plate. So is Losa through already? Uh, yeah, no, she's on the way. Let me see. Uh, because in that case, we can obviously... Nowhere this. else. Oh. Oh, more it's pressure It's shooting. Plates. Yeah, see. yeah. It shoots. Let me... Oh, you already had that guy. Okay. Um, so we're probably just good to go over there. Mm, so yeah. I didn't even really look at this place so far. So we probably want to check out the southern area first because that looks like a dead end. It looks like we can, can go further if we go north. Careful now. That's a trap. Yeah, we just need to be really careful. Yeah, I'm moving mm. around with, with Ifan a bit here, checking things out as well. Yeah, the two a bit more perceptive people yeah. moving about. Whoa, they are on the stairs as well. I just noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so a... There's a reliquary there. Yeah. I'm gonna go check out this little area there. Oh, there's a trap. Oh, a bowl. Nothing Bowl. Else. Bit of gold. No, nothing here. Just yet another trap. Probably 
place those here because there's just in case somebody just wants to jump up over on the side to avoid this. Oh, there's an orc priest body here. Uh, uh, and a ballista, more orc. I think she's coming into a dangerous area there. Okay. Let's try with sepsis here. Oh yeah, there is a big altar there, okay. Something there. Oh. I um, don't want really to shoot myself in the face, though, with that ballista. <laughs> Almost Ow. did. Oh, did I hit you? Uh, no, I, well, I hit a trap. <laughs> oh, okay. Sepsis can't oh. see traps. <laughs> <laughs> so I took a chance. He has so much magic armor, so... Yeah. Oh! Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Keep an eye out. I'm just gonna... Move yeah. him in a bit here. Yeah. So should we approach the altar? Yeah. Hello? Anybody? Anybody? So we can interact with it. Altar to war rogue gear. Oh yeah, we need to pray at the, all the altars. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. So pray ahead. Pray ahead. Pray away. Yeah, I hope this is less dramatic than last time. I bow my head and I bow my head and pray. Your vision clouds, and you open your eyes to a dark glade. Before you lies a bull trapped beneath a fallen tree. It stares at you with malevolent eyes. As you watch, it transforms to a bear, claws digging into the earth as it struggles to dislodge the log. You blink, and it turns again. A gorilla now. It's vaulted back, pushing hard against the wood. After a few more minutes' struggle, it slumps to the ground, defeated, and its contemptuous eyes return to you. Strength, it barks gutturally. Give me your vigor. Uh... Yeah, sure. Didn't I go in with the other one as well? Yeah, no. I think you did. Yeah, I think so. So I accept the request. Okay. We're just going to use our source. No, I'm cursed. Contorting into a snake. Grimacing, you reach out your hand, and Vrogir sinks his fangs deep into your palm. You feel his curse spreading throughout your body as your strength starts to ebb away. At the same time, the snake grows stronger and starts to pulse with a faint light. You drag your hand back before the very last of your vigor slips away and you stand hunched over and gasping for breath. The gentle glow within Vrogir grows brighter until you struggle to look at him. I think I actually let my god in to read last time, but I'm not sure. The god bursts into yellow flame, seeing oh, maybe. his way through the log. Vrogir transforms again, standing before you in his true orcish form, before snorting in derision and walking away. <laughs> Thanks. That's so fades, lovely. And you are back in the temple. The smell of damp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... Okay. So did you get permanently cursed? You're kidding me. Uh, so Vrogir is aligned with the sun. Uh, I mean, we just have to use bless sun, basically. So I'm okay. Gonna... I can do that now. Oh, there you go. You. And I okay, so pick I this up. The altar sits before. Uh, cool. I'm confusing myself right now. Don't. Too late. <laughs> I got confused. Yeah, actually, I just dememor uh, not. Unmemorize the skill so that I can memorize bless. Then you did that, and now I've already forgotten which skill I did not. I I I, un, I unmemorized. All right. Oh, when it was winter blast. There we go. Uh, but I can't really use that, so I think I'll go with something different. Actually. Uh, I'm I'm just exploring a bit here. This yeah, is a yeah. really cool temple. <clears throat> Orcs. Fire over here. So there's. There were definitely people here. Oh, did you interact with this? That pyramid thingy here? You're a um, scholar. You might actually learn something because I have no idea what this is. No, I didn't. That's what my character says. Uh, where is it? Pyramid? It's the, on the wall here. This, uh... Oh, there. Illuminati looking thing. Ah, yeah. Is there one on the other side, actually? Doesn't look like it. Vrogir's culture was focused on brutality and violence. Yet they write so beautifully on it. 
Ah, okay. Oh, so that actually is a scholar thing, I assume. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's, that's very cool. Oh, there's a, another relicro here. Ooh. With an alien tormented soul. Oh. Sure. Okay. Hey, there's a lever. An ancient looking lever stands before you. It's yeah, we've got a wall that looks solid but shouldn't be, so we need a gate to Take open this up. Take a closer up. look there's at a small it. Small slot in the side of the lever. Insert Almost the key. Like a deep rump yep, that that's what I found in the beginning there. Yep. Oh man, cool. That's Triforcey. If we want to keep with the <laughs> with the references. Triforcey. Yeah, in terms of Triforce, because there were three. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep. Three pyramid-looking thingies. Once again. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got it now. Well, not quite, because the form was wrong, but still. <clears throat> <laughs> Broken pyramid thing. Yes. So what is this then? Oh! Oh! Another level. Whoa. Let me okay. see. Okay. Oh, something called Armory is all thing I like to read. Ooh. Careful now. Oh, oh traps. I'm spotting traps again. Yeah, maybe maybe scout ahead with him, or I'm gonna use. It seems that there's just one trap in the back there, though. That's weird. Just want to check out the, the the nooks and crannies. There, there's a spike trap. <laughs> well, I do have uh, large quite... amounts of physical resistance, so I'm not too. too Ow. Late. Okay, she didn't. <laughs> Unlike Ow. you, she didn't quite see that one until she stepped on it. Spiky bits. Oh, okay. just... Ooh. Lights on, lights off. So there is a a broken sarcophagus. Mm. Over on that side, we need to jump over there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna jump over with Amnon because if the yeah. sarcophagus still is strength based, he's the only one that can open that up, anyways. Exactly. Whoa. Empty? Nad just had a bit of gold and a potion, nothing All right. major though. Let me take Oh an eternal artifact. Yeah, ooh. Gonna send Sweetness. that Sweetness. Sweet eternal. Let's see. Something on the other side maybe? Yeah, there's another broken sarcophagus. Ow. Can I jump diagonally? Nope, I cannot. So we'll come back to the middle. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> You're hitting traps again? Yeah. <laughs> it's what I'm getting out of your... My ouchies. Out of your very communicative uh, grunts and moans. Yeah. Ow. Stop it. Ow. They like their traps, don't they? Yeah, apparently. Uh, so you got all this. Yeah, there's nothing. And apparently, there is one yeah. more all the way back there. Can we get there from here? I didn't loot the Knight of Rogir there. Oh my gosh. Oh, Knight of Rogir boots. Huh? Where? Um, on the Knight of Rogir. Plus. Three oh, okay. I, I, it, he has a weird hitbox. I, he didn't highlight for me. Yeah. Okay. A bit ago. That's for you. You can has. So I take it uh, they are strengthy boots. Let me yeah. see. Actually, really good as well. Yeah. Plus th three strength is really good. Yeah, and enrage, and I do not have that memorized any longer. Ooh, I believe. Nice. So I'm back now. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And they were a bit better than my old ones as well. Oh, cool. Well, I lose initiative, but I gain a lot of strength. And there it is. Oh, it's a one-handed sword. Let me identify that. And send it to Amnon. We also have a deflective barrier, some gold. So that was probably the interesting part here. Let me check if there's anything else. 
I see you made an acid infusion book, so Geomancer yep. plus summoning. Yeah, and that works. So, no blood. So he's going to get the corrosive spray um, yeah. as a skill now, which is a source skill. I just need another point in Geomancy. Oh, I see. Because right now I have only one. I need two. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure there's nothing here on this little thing. Does not look like it, so we'll just wait for the cooldown to wear off. I'll check the weapon in the meantime. Actually, not necessarily better than what I currently have. Oh, it's got more crit chance. That's pretty negligent. Made me faster again, though. Yeah, I think it might be worth it. Cool. Um, 258 to 275. Let me see. That one. I think I lose a teensy bit of damage, but overall I gain an initiative again, which is helpful. So I'll keep it. Nice. Oh, wait, so it looks that. like that is all we can really do down here, from what I can tell. I mean that that weapon is pretty solid overall. That's um, good. I mean, it, it gave us the boots as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. So. So, by the way, shouldn't we just... Oh, yeah, right. I'm just gonna waypoint travel. So, we were all there. So, where do we go next? Yeah, so... Uh... Wait. Which one? I mean, the question is which temple we want to go for next, basically. Right, there. That was the one we did. Did we do the black? No, we did do the black ring vanguard. That's our fight. No, we did that at the shrine. No, we weren't at the shrine. So we. Yeah. So we, we have Amadia. We have the Amadia. We have the and beach. Sedelius. The Luna shrine. We could go for. Wait, beach. What? 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 I'm. Uh, the beach on the left. It says the beach. Um... Oh, I see. But we don't yeah. have that. Yeah, let's Point. go there. Uh, that's not the way. The that is way. the way. The other way. No, and we didn't do the Black Ring Vanguard. We got the. We did the fight at the the Temple of Valik here. Ah. Yeah, yeah. So that's also where we could go to get a little bit of combat action if we want to. Oh yeah, if we want to kill these guys, the Black Rings at the temple? Or did you mean another place? No, no, by a um, little bit further, southwest of Tyr Sandelius. Oh, okay. okay. There's another yellow flag in there. Okay, so why don't we have this one? Oh, we do have it, it's just... <laughs> oh, is it cold? The beach. Oh, the beach at the top. Well, since we're here now, I guess we want to go for Amadia's next, yeah. or towards yeah. Amadia's yeah. next. Yeah, let's do that. So one person jump over, everybody follows, or...? I think that uh, might try to go... ...be the path any other way. But well, we, we can from up here. A bit better. That's a direct entrance to... ...the temple way. I think. Oh, wait. All the way up here. I'll follow you. That might be. I was looking at the map and. Figure out where to go. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. It's just a. Still, it's still a jump, but. Yeah, it's just a, a few less jumps.
Yeah, the only one that can't jump is uh, Sepsis by now. Yeah, just we, we do have the full permits by now, so... Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I, I forgot that as which well. one she... Ah, oh, the yellow one. Yeah, it's and if you if you mouse over them, uh, it, it says in which bags it is. Oh, in whose bag right, of course. So it's pretty Useful. identifiable, luckily. Yeah. There you go again. In Lotus bag. Ah, cool. Yep. I didn't Part even know. I orders fleet by the look of it. Hellfire must have rained down on them. It's surprising any of them made it to shore. Looking at that. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty bad out there. Yep. So pretty there... burnt. There's nothing here. Well, that's mm. the question, isn't it? There should be an entrance of some sorts. Yeah. There is some... Oh, yeah, we got some vines that we need to... Where? There we go. Oh, there. Yeah, I was looking up the structure and saw the vines there. Yeah, I was looking at the other side. For ah, I see. an entrance. So I'm not sure if we can enter here or somewhere because we are climbing up a tree apparently. <laughs> oh wait, what? Up oh, in the clouds? That is for the Temple of Amadia. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way up. Yeah. And I've got my obligatory 15 frame uh, uh, frozen screen again. There we go. Yeah, every time it saves up in the clouds. Is oh, cool. What does it say? Up in the clouds, we've reached the temple that floats high above the Nameless Isle. Because we know. So there's the entrance. I guess. Yep. There's vines down. Burning. Over so there. let's examine the statue. Oh. What? That is so cool. Oh, the shrine is over there. Yeah, but yeah. there's something missing, so I don't really think we want to print no, there. Right no, the now. shrine is over there, on the right. Well, we need to go past this uh, fiery fire ward here. Oh, he's gonna blow us to kingdom. Well, that's just rude. He's pooping out fireballs. So it's missing something. Before you stands a shrine to Amadia. Yeah, I want to see what's going to happen here. You remember that the if I go over alone. In the hollow marshes Hello. But no words from you can rouse this whatever powers the gods I mean, doesn't look that directed. Basically. An ancient awareness reaches out to you. Just going boom in set places. Yeah. Your body and every mote of your soul. You so feel you should be fine to come over here. Oh, okay. going faster through your whole body. Uh, Amadia just hasted me. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, you did do something there. Then the awareness recedes from you, ebbing back like a tide until you are left completely alone. Alone with your thoughts, alone with the blessing Amadia left you with. Okay. Well, that is pretty cool. Before because I, I think it's because she's mine. Then the awareness... Because I interacted with something here. What this the is heck are you? Oh, there. Okay. Okay, there's another one here. Well, there's a freezing one running around as well. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go up That's here. Another one down, apparently. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but... Yeah, not really. I'm just touching orbs uh, right now, but they appear to be doing something, and since I... Lightning. We will not be stopped. We shall not surrender. Yeah, so that one's gonna go away. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Whoa... So we have opened up a portal that seems to lead further in. Oh my... Gosh, it looks so really cool. Oh, mildly terrifying as well. Oh, yeah. So let's take a peek. Oh, that's a can go pyramid. Yep, there's a thing you can interact with. Yeah. Mardia truly is the mother of all magic. 
the patron of all who use source. Wait, there's also something back I'm a bit biased, here. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> So always skeptical when they give you a little bit cranny like this one on the map as well, this backwards thing. But there apparently is nothing there. Okay, there's... we need to pass this. I think if... I, if Losa can, can do this. Uh, there's also something over here. Uh, an engraved jewel that we that probably want to collect. I'm just gonna... Go pick that up. Cool. Um, let me read the description. Jewel with strange markings etched onto each facet. It would no doubt fetch a high price, but perhaps it has another purpose. I, th uh, I think we might actually have to insert that into the... Uh, into Amadia's uh, face surface there in the... Oh, the right, yeah. Because there was something missing, and I think it looked something like the... missing thing there. Oh, Los is right there. Yeah, she's having fun. Puzzling it up. So that stopped the... Ow. Lightning? What? Yeah. Nope. Something. Can you just walk through the barrier? I didn't... Ah, uh, no, it opens up when I do the other one. And she's fire immune right now from Amadia's Blessing, so that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. There we go. Pop! Goes the weasels. Oh! oh. Knight of, Knight of Amadia. Amadia. Um, you. Yeah, you oh, have she's talking to fear from me. Oh, okay. I am relieved. I greet you. I am I was Amadia's chosen champion. She gasps and bows her head in deference. Forgive me. Please, I hold this boon. It is Amadia's. It should be yours. Yeah, I accept it. A pair of gloves, beaten Ooh. and worn, but clearly of the highest value, especially to a wizard. Uh, so what are you doing up here? Do you serve Amadia? I came to the council to learn to be divine. I failed. I'm not made to be pursued by evil. And that's what it means to be Godwoken. Afterwards, I roamed the island, as did all we fallen knights. But my worst fears came true when the Black Ring came. I fled here. I made sure the temple was defended and went to the altar. I prayed to Amadia for help, but she did not answer. I'm not ashamed to say that I hid. There is untold evil in the world, and it has reached the island. It seeks the Godwoken who would be divine. I cannot bear it. So where do you will you go now? Go? There is no go. I belong here. I was Godwoken, but for all the evil in the world, I would not be divine. I did not search the world for the others of our kind. Oh. My place is here. Yours is inside the mountain. So speaking of which, uh, I'm s I seek Amadia's altar. Amadia's altar is at the highest point. Climb to the sky and you may find <clears> it. But be warned, Amadia rarely answers now, and when she does, she sounds unwell. May she speak to you with love. She bows her head in deference and allows you to leave. So let's check out those gloves. Yeah. Level 17. Ooh. Requires 14 intelligence, one pyrokinetic, one hydrosophist, one aerotherch. Same for resistances, all the stuff. I'm just going to send it to sepsis. Oh, he needs yeah. to you? Uh, he needs Aerotherge. He doesn't have that. It's pretty cool. Oh, it gives Pyrokinetic Hyrosophist Aerotherge. Oh, so the altar is okay. right there. Give me one more. I want to check something out here. Oh my god, 246 magic armor. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. In terms of level, at least, their, their armor is extremely high. Pyrokinetic is best for her, though. Yeah. So I'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm examining the statue. Yeah. I can put the gem that I found in here. Oh, good. How lovely-dovely. How lovely-dovely doodle-doodle.
So I reach out and place the gem into the hollow between Amadia's eyes. I'm gonna go pray. Hey, then. we get a secret room though. Oh, sweet. My turn to a pray. Flits in the background as you approach the altar. Okay, I'll join you and stone, you take a look at the heat. room afterwards. I'm gonna come to you. A sense of warmth and peace fills you. The chirping of birds fades into the gentle, warm crackle of a wood fire. You're standing in an old cabin, the wood stained with age. Sitting in a rocking chair, bathed in moonlight, is Amadia. She's old now, withered and hunched, grey hair falling over failing eyes. She turns to you and dips her head, sending you on your way with a smile that warms your soul. Aww. The moon fades, but Amadia's moon remains, now emblazoned on the altar before you. Awesome. Getting so much experience for just walking yeah. around right now. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh. Augmenter, Fahrenheit. Oh, I found the jackpot. Oh, nice! What's this? So first we've got leggings for intelligence. My god, level 17. Again? 307 magic armor. Oh, I mean, we wow. are level 17, so this is apparently pretty fitting. Uh, just, just take a look. We've also got a staff. Also level 17. My oh my god. So you go check that out. Thank you. And a shield, which hopefully will be good for me. Uh, I'd say so, just on the fact alone that it has 200 physical more. So oh. my damage is going to go up again. That is so good. I'm losing HP, but I gain initiative again, so that's pretty cool. Voice of the Dread. Set bleeding, set atrophy, three intelligence, and ten lifesteal. But it doesn't have poison dart or venomous aura. It's pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, nonetheless. Okay, so. That was Amaria? Yeah, and we geared up again. <laughs> A bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, this is. Oh, yeah, we need to. This is giving us some really nice bonuses. Uh, we can go to Relic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna set down a done. I mean, that's the, the so question where we want to go next. Luna Shrine or the Vanguard? Mm, yeah, let's go straight north towards yeah. the. That's the Vanguard. Way. Oh, yeah. that's a troll. That's a troll. Cool. Oh, yeah, there was a troll in the cave. I remember that. So ah, cool. We go there. Might as well go check that out. <laughs> Somebody's screaming attention. in there. I mean, well, I mean, if if we can't talk him into it, I we we do have perching wands. So the troll leans in and glares at you with beady little eyes. His breath is like a butcher's offal bucket. Left in the sun too long. No cave for you. <laughs> is, is he like the? Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. He's not like. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's good. I'm not gonna say that. Something like that. Uh, so I'm glancing at the black ring banner nearby and ask what's in the cave. I get sack of me every day to watch cave. Not answer questions about caves. Island keeps me strong, stronger than other trolls. Go now, or there will be pummeling. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I want to get past you, though. The troll grimaces and spits a melon-sized glob of phlegm onto the ground <laughs> near your feet. No. Lovely. Cave for you. Well, I kind of get the feeling that bullying him into submission is not going to work. Nah. But whatever. <laughs> Constitution? I mean, it's okay. It's an okay stat for you. Yeah, it's not quite on the same level. It's eight lower, but still. Let's go. 
Nope. Nah. Six. The troll Six. The knuckles of his powerful fist. So I'm giving this. I give him the sign of the lone wolf. Probably even worse. Oh. The troll stares at you in abject confusion for a long moment <laughs> before. No cave for you. You. Yeah, I'm a thrall of Almira. I need to get past. He's not really letting us in. No. So why are you guarding the cave? Yep, okay, I can't do anything anymore here. Okay, can we beat him up already? What? No. Well, the troll blood instantly healed him, so... Yeah, yeah. Don't be like that. Well, oh, I'm just gonna use our... Um, our... our very, Chicken. very uh, minimal ace in the hole again. Yeah. Oh, he does only get. Um, he has walk off, walk it off. He's immune to yeah. petrified as well. Yeah, and he's also gonna regenerate three thousand HP per turn, so we need to kill him pretty quickly. Yeah. Also, can't be knocked down. And has 90% resistance against water, air, and earth. That's pretty Ooh. brutal. That's a lot did of... We, did we points. mention the immunity to being knocked down? <laughs> yeah, but I needed to get over there. Yeah, I know. Um, let me see. I mean, just to be on the safe side, I guess, why should we take any dumb risks? True. I mean, uh, is just barely out of reach, uh, so if she just walks Kingsley a bit over, but, well, fire, he might not go for it. Wow, need her fire? Damage. His fire is actually 30. Does he have physical... Nope. Protection of some sort? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so I could... I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And then... Uh... Then this. Oh, that's the damage, uh, the sound up there. How much what are they doing? I don't understand. Okay. Oh, you. Ah, I see. Yeah, burn. Please raid him. And. Hmm. Bleed. Bleed is going on. Let me see, what can I do? Deal damage. Nice. I mean... Mm, that's not gonna help anything. I'm gonna see about decaying him in a bit. Ah, uh, he's immune. Oh, he's immune to decaying? Yeah. Ah, crap, okay. But that, my spell there would have said... Deceased? What does it say? Question is, do we... Yeah, disease. He's immune to being petrified, so I can't do anything we can... We but can it's fine, we have invasion right now. But not enough, so what do we do? Well, no, I'm gonna... He's not immune to being to, to sleeping, though, so I'll just do this. And also walk in for zero. Yeah, so we that's do have a to lot deal of a lot more damage, though. Yeah, a lot of regeneration right there. Okay, so how do we get him the best way? Right now. Uh, oh, wait. Losa is right next to me. Perfect timing. So you're critting. Yep. Thanks to Enrage. Ooh. Anything Thank else you. I want to do right now? You're welcome. I mean, you're just dealing way more damage. And Ifan's a bit too far away. And he's critting most of the time anyways. Yeah. So you're going to just do this. I am walking in here. And then we are not doing anything but save a turn. 
So hopefully you didn't kill your own line of sight there with the smoke now. Oh, no. Good. Oh, well. Cool. Nice and... Uh... Hope I didn't block this my own one. spot with Ifan as well. <laughs> and he's atrophied. <laughs> Don't know if that actually helps anything. Yeah, so next turn I can Shackle of Pain him and Taunt him, so he's Ooh, gonna be forced to attack nice. me and deal damage to himself in the process. Awesome. Switch my him some more. Totem of Blood. But he's still, so far he's gonna regenerate all the damage we did to him. Yep. I need to stack up some totems here. I think that's the best way. Yeah, and I kind of wasted the evasion with making him sleepy. But not true, well. true. So right now we are 200 hit points down. <laughs> Impressive. Oh, was it 300, 3,300? 3, yeah, it was 3,300. So we need a bit more damage. Amnon can do that. Yeah, I'm working on it. Basically, it's a lot of regeneration. That's insane. Um, so we probably. He's probably gonna hit my incarnate champion anyway. Yeah, at least for now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one, and just to be safe, I'm gonna throw it so that he's evading. Yeah. Right now. As Good much idea. As possible, and he uh... might target him instead. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. oh, of course. Ah, oh, but I mean, right yeah. I it's fine. It's gone. Yeah. But he knows magic. Okay. Nice. Oh. <laughs> That's the big question, though. Can we actually kill him? I think, we, yeah, of course we can. We just need to deal more damage. So shackles of pain. For instance, could yeah, be a cool thing. Then we cool provoke. Thing. Yeah. And then I'm gonna hit him with a bouncing sheep because that's still the most I can do. Your character is completely uh, uh, silent on my end. It's really huh? weird. He he's oh, not moving at all. Oh. Okay. Your your character. Poison thirty. Huh. So Luz is still quitting for one turn? Yeah. Just with Firebrand on as well. Okay, I see. Should be Ooh. nice. Well, yeah, we could throw in the poison as well. I guess he's only got 30% again po against poison. Yeah, but physical is the best, isn't it? Yeah. Basically. There we go. See? We're getting there. Yeah, four, three. Shut Silence, up. So no more spells. <laughs> okay, interesting. That one. And... I hope I can go in there with Ifan right away, because he is standing with the back to me. So I might have to use um, some... some. Uh, I might have to use Nether Swap there. Yeah. Uh, in turn. It's gonna be nice. Oh no, a miss. Because the firebrand works on the totems as well. Which is just doubling their damage output. That's insane. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh wow. I need to combo that a bit more. Huh. So I think I can get in his back the normal way, possibly. Yeah, it looks like it. Cool. There we go. And then I've got two attacks, so we probably just hit him. Do you Maybe have adrenaline? Uh, rupture tenants. No, next turn. Oh, nice. Good job. So just in case he moves, he's gonna take some extra damage there. Yeah, he's probably gonna move because of the taunt. I mean, I am standing right in front of him, so he doesn't necessarily need to. There we go. Yeah, but that's a good impact. So he didn't do anything. Yeah. 
I, I, I don't. Uh, he was um, atrophied, and I silenced him. Oh, so I think that's why he couldn't anything, actually probably. do anything. Yeah. Sweet. Crook the troll. A bit of a nuisance, but I think I think we got this. So what's my best next move? I can cripple him so he can't move. And otherwise just go in for damage, I guess. Yeah. We do have the firebrand going, so it's pretty neat. That's not gonna be good enough. Overpro I could also throw out a guardian angel. But I think, yeah, let's just go for damage, I guess. I'm actually wondering if Firebrand stacks with uh, the Acid I'd buff. assume so. Cool. Oh. Ah, oh, he's blinded. What a blinding light. Let me, let me put that up. Just to check. Oh my god, that is insane. <laughs> That's a lot of extra damage. That should be helpful. And an extra and it totem. it does uh, also help the totem, so... Yeah, exactly. So, Kinda wow. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Just a teensy bit of damage, you mean? <laughs> Can you kill him? I Obviously. To none. Didn't even Yeah. Even attack. That is so good. <laughs> Alright, nice. you get the loot. You get the loot because you killed him. Got sinew. That's it. Aww. But I've got the source point. Well, maybe we should have done some spirit visioning first. I keep forgetting about that. Ahem. Nothing new. But ah uh, well. Nothing here. <laughs> Wanna go into the cave? Yes. Check it out. No, we just cleared it for fun. <laughs> oh, there's. Oh, it's a decrepit altar. A decrepit altar. Okay. And there's a fake wall there. Oh. I mean, if you just look at the map, at least, at least it looks like it. Yeah, it looks. A bit cut off. Yeah. All you can see is a smear of blood on its surface, and a hollow that seems to call for something. Okay, sure. I kneel before the altar and whisper a prayer. You feel an invisible hand grab you by the throat. Oh. Cold, unseen lips brush your ear. You can't make out any words, but you understand what you're hearing. Whispered tears, screams in the dark, blood, pain, blood, blood. The hand I have blood rain. And you stagger yeah. back, gasping. Uh, yeah, it's I waiting. Mean, do your thing. Seems pretty obvious. Seems Have some blood. Way. Okay, maybe too obvious. The altar huh. before you seem all you can see is that you feel an inv you can't make up the hand release. Pain and blood. Hmm. I'm not sure if I actually want to hit Ifan though. <laughs> <laughs> you might hmm. not take kindly to that. Hmm. And I mean, it has blood like leading up to it, or from yeah. it. So someone got sacrificed. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, can we see something with this in case we lost it already again? I. Uh, yeah, you still have it. Like no it's spirits. So possibly want to come back later yeah let's at least we cleared it yeah true true i mean it has to do with the uh with the the the, the black the black ring ring. guys so maybe yeah. we'll learn about it yeah sooner or later who's doing the yapping dagger and snout yeah i heard that as well while you we were fighting by yeah. the luna gate So that's where we already were. Oh, fork tongue. Huh? Oh, wow. Oh, over there. Deflection aura. It's a 
boss fight. Ooh, With a ton of her. enemies. Wow. Sure. There's something... Let's talk with the Spur of the Paladin over on the right first. Maybe? Yep. So, did the temple hold? <laughs> them off. We held them off. We held them off and Alexander was saved. Okay, sure. So there's a Shrieker up there. There's multiple Shriekers up there. Yeah, we have perching ones. Well, we have source yeah, papers and techniques. Yeah, but you need to go in too close with those. Uh, I think you might actually be able to if you do them in the right order and you approach from the elven side more. Hold up, Shriekers. Shriekers. Yeah, it doesn't have any reach at all. Yeah, but I think you can get the, the westernmost uh, once if we approach from the other side. That could work, and that way we can get the other one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's four, actually. Ooh. I'm just going to... Should still be doable. There. Oh. Purging I'm... wand? Yeah, the purging ones have a longer reach. Yeah, yeah. So that works. So you still had one of those, or you found another one? Yeah, we. I found like four. Oh, I see. Of them. Well, that's gonna be useful. I mean, they have a finite amount of, of uses, but I mean, why not? You no, know, you need to save them. I see. Oh, there's somebody <gasps> coming. Oh my God! Hello. He scared me. He spooked me. Like <laughs> I thought it was the uh, shrieker. <laughs> uh, to the elf. Uh, here to claim your birthright. Yeah, I'm God walking. The elf's deep golden eyes go wide. A strange smile dances across his mouth, and he starts to roar with laughter. You, the gods chose you as their champion. D it, yeah. Run home, little God woken. You find only death here. I've killed more void woken than you can count to get here. I'm not turning back now. We have all swatted flies. That is not what lies ahead of you. You are not worthy of this temple. Leave. Run back to your heart. Cower there while death searches for you. I have been to the afterlife and back to get here. You will stand aside or be uh, spelled down. So I'd appreciate it if we could avoid a fight in the middle of the Freakers. <laughs> the laughter dies from the elf's eyes, replaced with weary seriousness. Good. It is proper that the Godwoken should not be so easily pushed away. Too many are not ready for the trials ahead. You may proceed. You find no threat here. Not from here we me, go. at least. <laughs> hmm. What's going on here? The island's been overrun by the Black Ring. The island is not overrun. This temple stands strong. The other gods were clearly not as powerful as Terus and Delius. In his fortress, the Black Ring do not succeed. They do not kill the Godwoken, but but they do not fail. Now, knights and Godwoken both cower behind monsters, tied to sticks. Um, Carring is no solution. What must I do to become the Divine? It is not the place of a knight to reveal such things. We walked your path once. You must discover it yourself, as we did. Turn to the gods. Their guidance alone will lead you. All right. May Terse and Delius ever watch over you. It's interesting how is he, he is immune against the Shriekers. Yeah. I mean, I can it, see why they did that, but still, it's kind of funny. It's a bit weird. I'm still not... I mean, they, they need to die, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. Kill the, the, the two Shriekers there. Otherwise, <laughs> they're still red. I thought maybe they would turn green after he was there. <laughs> Nah, I mean, he's not affiliated with them. Uh, so. nope. Maybe it triggered too early. Could be. Yeah, maybe. The conversation bit. Cool. Okay, so, I think on that note, though, this is where we're going to end the episode. So we're gonna...
probably jump over to the fight with Fork Tongue over there uh, next time. Yep. I assume it. Yeah, yeah I think that sounds like a good idea. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, thank you guys very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see us play more Divinity Original 2, just stick around. And yeah, that's basically it. Don't know why I'm mixing things up. So let's just end <laughs> this and stop questioning ourselves. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe and share it with a friend or two. It really helps out the channel and to that effect me. If you want to stay in touch with me and get notified about new videos, go follow me on Twitter. You can also visit my Twitch channel where I stream every week. If you're feeling generous, consider subscribing on Twitch or supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful game night.